Okie dokie, second time of the season I have my tolumnias down. I normally have them hanging in their baskets on the west side of my blooming alley. And oh yeah, this is the result of a summer's growing. They have a lot of light, even though I have a curtain to protect them from the west side of the sun there. The angle of the sun in the summer is so high, they are never exposed to direct sun until the angle changes and then the autumn sun angle gives them some direct sun every once in a while. So I have some in spike, which is nice. There's a few spikes. And I just saw some aphids. We're gonna take care of that. I just saw another spike coming down here, which is great. Let me put you on the tripod. There's just one thing I'm not, I am not too thrilled with their progress. They should have done better. And um, they get fertilized every single day. In the summer months, they get their 300 ppm like everybody else. But I would have thought after two years, I've got a little bit more to show for on my tolumnias. And here comes the wind, just as I'm setting up. So I'll work with my back to the wind and I hope that'll be okay on the mic. I'm just gonna take off these old spikes here. So yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not too thrilled, to be honest. And I have three that are probably not going to make it. I haven't brought them out as yet because I think they were infected with scale. And I have them isolated, so there's no, no way are they coming on this communal tray. But I can see some roots. I'll show you just now. This little fan has just died off. That's normal. And this is how I deal with my tolumnias during the winter. They go on a tray and on a sunny day they go outside and I bring them in again at night. So I think I've got all the nasty off. But let me show you, for example, not this one, but we can get rid of that wonderful little wild herb. You see they are on lava rock in baskets. They can dry very quickly. And I was hoping that they would look much better this year than they actually are. Here's another new growth coming. And this is Dirac Rainbow Soft Pink, apparently. And I say apparently because I've never actually seen this one bloom. But it's not like the setup could be the problem. So I wonder what's going on with their location in the summer there. That they shouldn't be, they should be absolutely taking off like the little pocket rockets that they are. I mean, I can't complain about this one. This is what I think a tolumnia should look like after one fan on receiving it, one fan. And now this is what I want a tolumnia to look like. But this is golden fire. This is what I don't want my tolumnias to look like after two years in my collection. What is going on here? What is this? What's, what's, you know, it's got a new growth coming, but it's super weak. And it looks like it had some cold damage. So I don't know if this one's even gonna make it. That is clear signs of cold damage. I may have waited one night too long to bring it in. But still, even if this is cold damage, that is recent. This is not anything substantial after a summer in the southern Mediterranean. And this one doesn't have a label. I have the label inside somewhere. I'll put up a a tag 
this one as well. You can see that it doesn't look like much. So they were all brought in at the same time. There's a no cold damage, oh, but there is a spike. But we've already counted that. I've already seen that spike. This one is snow white, supposedly. I got these from the eBay seller Thai Orchids and more. And despite the fact that the fans are starting to look like something, they don't look, they don't look happy. I tried Tolumnias in a semi-hydro setup and I was not successful. That's why they went into small lava rock in little open baskets. And I would have thought that this one would be a little bit more substantial as well. But you know, these are the fans of the season, these two. And unfortunately I didn't see that Spike was developing and it was up against the curtain like that and it kept rubbing on it, so that's a shame. But yeah, if I say how I take care of them, when you look at this little spread, would you feel comfortable copying what I'm saying? Because there are Tolumnias out there that look so much better. And I'm not going to be mounting all of my Tolumnias. So this one looks all right. Considering I got it with a tiny little fan back here, they were really struggling. It's pushing out a nice new one right there. And this one had actually bloomed. So this one's not doing too bad, but my care is small lava rock in baskets. They can dry off relatively quickly in the summer. Now in the winter, they had a massive, massive drenching a couple of days ago, and I haven't watered them since. And how do I take care of aphids? I just very carefully go along the bud and the stems, squish them and pick them off in reverse order. First I pick them off and then I squish them because now that they're indoors, I don't want these aphids to start spreading amongst my collection. So their summer temperatures can go all the way up to as high as the summer will go, which can be 40 degrees. And I bring them in before the night temperatures drop to 15 degrees Celsius. And I think I left it one night too long because we did have a colder night in between and they were still outside and I thought it would be fine. But clearly one of them did not take too kindly to that. But other than that, 300 ppm every day during the summer months and now they have not been watered for two days. I don't need any kind of funky rot setting in so I will water them on the next sunny day. I will bring them out when there's a breeze and I'll water them. They've all had fungicide treatment before they came in because of that massive downpour. I sprayed them with fungicide on the downpour day just to make sure because they don't need like a lot a lot of treatment fungicide wise it's just a preventative measure but i'm going to get the the other three and we'll have a look because i think this one will be joining them soon even though there are no pests on there so i'm going to take these inside and i'll be right back right here are the segregated ones i'm just going to give the base a little bit of a watering. This one is from Schwerter. Came down heavily with scale, literally in my opinion out of nowhere. And it was doing really well during the summer. Really well. I was impressed. I thought, well, we've got one going like a little pocket rocket the way they should be. But then suddenly all these yellow leaves started to come and you can see that fuzziness back there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been fighting over the past months. I'm just going to spray that with alcohol. Yeah, and then suddenly this little guy started to look not so green anymore. I had three new fans growing this season. One, two, three. And then I had a closer look and I went, oh, really? 
seriously so yeah off it went into segregation this little guy red devil supposedly most of them were bought at the same time so had this one two years also from Thai orchids and more on eBay it thought I thought it was doing okay it lost its first fan that it came with and this one grew and you can see there's problems which I just counteract with some alcohol and then the next day I go in and wipe off if that was a scale or not but I'm not going to sit around waiting and guessing so it's trying to put out two new growths I don't know just didn't doesn't like seem to want to take off here and this one is my flyer spray supposedly and I, I thought it was doing great I could see the roots growing everything was doing really well and then these roots just started to co collapse sorry I can't go the other direction now they started to collapse and the fan that grew this year started to do this weirdness it's trying with another little fan but it's not opening up it's not fleshy so I think that the roots have completely failed in there I'm getting some new roots I see something new white in there but yeah this guy all three of them all of a sudden it was like nah don't want to be here so I'm like okay I'm sorry so I brought them inside relatively soon just to keep them a little bit more protected from the elements of the outdoors and I'm just hoping that maybe one of them would like to show me that it wants to stay or if it's gonna go please you know don't take your time don't take your time it's okay and the other ones we'll have to wait and see but these three are segregated together with my cat Leah Rex from Schwerto with scale and there's a direct kiss so five of them are segregated and those little bugs are already going dry that's good this is my Tolumnia collection and I wish I could be a little bit more woohoo about it unfortunately the reality is that I'm not I, I could say that I've got maybe two no three that did well this summer and the other ones are just sort of like lagging behind but yeah if you think that you see any symptoms other than the obvious pest problems then please let me know the one that with the cold damage that I'll take that that was one night I thought it would be okay and it clearly wasn't and the other ones that are struggling behind I don't know they were doing really really well at some point and are slowly starting to collapse maybe that is the way of Tulumnias you know sometimes there's a cross in there that has a, a lifespan of five years there's an orchid that I really want I'm gonna try and look up the name of it and it can be that that is crossed into some of these mass produced Tulumnias and that orchid has a lifespan of five years and clearly that's why I don't have it in my collection because I'm not going to buy an orchid that has the reputation of even in nature just every five years not being around anymore but it could be I don't know if you have any ideas let me know let's talk I appreciate it thank you ever so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day stay safe take care bye